Paying quite the champ here for Golfers RX. Feeling a little uh, boxed in, a little isolated, going stir crazy. You got a little bit of cabin fever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? Now is the perfect time to work on our putting. So what we've done is we've taken all our indoor putting drills and all our indoor chipping drills, which is one of them, but that includes all of them, and we've put them into this one video. So you don't have to go hunting around for each individual one. You can work on them all at one time. Ten drills, five minutes. Now, we've done all the leg work for you. If you want to jump back and forth to each drill, we've got in the description below, we've got them set up like a table of contents. And you can click on them, and they'll just jump you straight to that drill. We're here to help. We want to make your life easy. Now, if you have any drills that you want to work on or any issues that you have with your short game, let us know in the comments below and we'll see if we can put some videos together from home just for you guys. Until next time, keep it simple. Doctor? 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 The first one is a great drill for making solid contact with the ball without actually hitting a ball. Stack three quarters on top of each other and sweep the top quarter and only the top quarter off the stack. This type of precision is going to help encourage a proper angle of attack coming into the ball and help develop a sweeping action in your putting stroke. The second drill is going to help us deliver a square putter face at impact. Line up two golf balls on your putter face and make your regular stroke. If the ball on the toe of the putter comes out hot, it's a result of a close face at impact, and vice versa if the ball from the heel comes out hot. Here's the same drill, but this time using a piece of plastic pipe or wood doweling. If it's struck with a square putter face, it's going to roll oh. out evenly. If not, it's going to twist and turn. Oh! A great way to get the spasms out of your putting stroke is by using a coin. Place a coin on the back of your putter and make your regular stroke. If the coin stays on, you have a nice smooth transition from your backswing to your forward swing. If the coin falls off at your transition, you may be putting more of a hit into your stroke as opposed to a swing. You can even perform this drill with a ball because the main focus here is the transition. The second drill in this video is about making solid contact with the ball. We want to work on stroking the middle of the ball with the middle of the putter face. Makes sense, right? But when we set up to the ball, you'll notice that the middle of the ball is a little higher on the face. So take a coin, place it behind the ball, and make your regular stroke without hitting the coin. This will force us to elevate the putter just enough to stroke the ball with the middle of the putter face. The first one we're going to do is speed control. So what you want to do is you want to try and putt your ball as close to the edge of the carpet without going over the edge of the carpet. Some of us when it comes to the rhythm of our putting, we're not sure what our tempo is. We haven't actually grooved in a tempo or we haven't actually thought about or worked on our tempo. What you can do is download a metronome on your iPhone or your smartphone or your iPad and set it up and work with different tempos to groove your putting stroke. For me, that's a little fast, so we're going to slow it down a little bit. With the metronome, it's just something you can play with. There's no exact science to it. It's just whatever feels comfortable to you. So the last one we're going to do here is, again, is speed control. But what we're going to do, it's a little game. You need about three or four balls. And what you want to do is you want to put one ball out. The second ball, you want to put it just past the first ball. You don't want to keep it short, but you don't want to blow it way by. Then you take the third ball and you put it just past the second ball. Again, you don't want to leave it short, but you don't want to blow it way by. You'd like to keep it within the grip of the putter, if at all possible. And this is just, it's going to teach you to, to get the ball to the hole, but not blowing it by the hole. So here are three indoor drills that you can do to work on your chipping. The first one is going to help us make sure we make contact with the ball before the turf. On a piece of carpet, not on hardwood or tile, we're going to lay down a dish towel or a face cloth. Then we're going to make swings, small ones will work, where we don't touch the towel. We want to make contact with the carpet first. 
If you hit or move the towel, you know that you probably got some turf between the club and the ball. The second drill is going to make sure our hands lead the club head through impact. You're going to need a pillow. Not the fancy ones though, just an old one will do. You're going to set up to the pillow and make small swings and what you're looking to do is ensure that your hands lead the club face at impact with the pillow. You don't want to flip the club, but rather a solid lead wrist at impact. For this third one, I came across a great tripping drill that I've never seen before. Take an alignment stick, or broomstick, we're in the house after all, let's get creative. Stick it under your lead armpit, and move it around so it mirrors the line and angle of your club. Now make some small practice swings and keep them aligned. That means not pulling the club to the inside, lifting it straight up, or breaking your wrists. And just make some small swings so they mirror each other back and through. 